Tim Ballard spent over a decade as a special agent for the Department of Homeland Security, working undercover all over the world to bust ch child sex trafficking rings. He then co-founded the group called Operation Underground Railroad, and that was all about rescuing children. His harrowing experiences inspired a brand new movie called The Sound of Freedom, and it stars the Passion of the Christ star, Jim Caviezel. It opens nationwide. Give him a big hand. Yes. That reaction is what he gets every time he comes. In fact, my wife doesn't come to every show to come in from Little Rock with me to do it, but she found out Jim Caviezel is gonna be here. She's here. Yeah, it's just, I'm just telling you. But this film opens all over the country July the 4th, and it is such an honor to welcome Tim Ballard and Jim Caviezel. Great to have you guys here. Tim, I, I wanna begin with you because you have your life story portrayed on the screen and you've got one of the greatest actors in the business right now doing it. I'm just wondering on a personal level, what does that feel like to watch Jim Caviezel be Tim Ballard? Well, the whole thing's surreal to watch. You know, they filmed a lot of the scenes in the very locations where these events took place. In Colombia, right? In Colombia, yeah. at the port of entry in, in, uh, in Collectible, California, where the case kind of kicks off. And then to have Jim play me, Jim's my favorite actor. I mean, when they asked me who they wanted to play me, yeah. he, right out of the gate, I said, Jim. Uh, they said, he's, he's the best, but they said, at the end of the film, there's this cool kind of transition where they show some real footage. Mm -hmm. And we want someone that kind of looks like you. And Jim's tall, dark, and handsome, and, and you're not. So, uh, <laughs> and, uh, and I said, I don't care what he looks like or I look like. <laughs> this is the truth. I said to them, I don't trust Hollywood. Yeah. Uh, I'm in business largely because of Hollywood, because of the content they put out that creates the demand for all that I'm fighting. But Jim loves Jesus, and I love Jesus, and, and that's the most important thing to me. And so make sure it's him. I love that. I love that. I think it's just such a great testament to the story itself, because this is not just about some guy that uh, was on a mission for the government. Jim, was there something that immediately you connected to in this story? It reminded me of It's a Wonderful Life. Mm. Now here's how. You got a guy that's gonna commit suicide. You got an angel that tries to save him and then show him that without his life, without him, mm -hmm. uh, um, these people aren't gonna make it. And I thought about Tim Ballard and all these children that aren't gonna make it without Tim Ballard. And that's why this film is so incredibly inspirational. We've got a clip. This is one of the scenes in which, uh, in playing the role of Tim Ballard, you're making it clear that you can't just turn your back on these kids. We're Homeland Security. You know we can't go off rescuing Honduran kids in Colombia. Look, the, the boy is back with his father. That's a career capper. Take it and move on. I think you understand what I'm asking you. See how this job tears you to pieces. And this is my one chance to put those pieces back together. Wow. You know, Jim, rarely. Do I watch a, just a brief scene of a few seconds of a movie and get impacted emotionally. If this film, uh, I know the goal is to get two million tickets sold to see The Sound of Freedom on the beginning of 4th of July. That would be historic, it would be miraculous, it would be a wake up call to Hollywood whose films are, are bombing. Disney's lost 800 and, uh, or maybe it was $690 million in the last three films. No one wants to go see this stuff, but they want to see movies like this. And it would send a message. So how can people connect to the movie, get the tickets? Because I think it's just important that people see the film, they buy the tickets. One of the things that you're doing is a pay it forward, to buy tickets for people who can't afford to go. That's right. If you, if you want to go to the movie or you can't afford it, well, we have a way for you to do that. They're free. Hmm. You just go through, um, was it angel.com forward slash Jim? Yep. Okay. 
So um, that's what you do. And then there's a pay it forward program. And all you got to do is that when you go and see the film, and you're going to love this film, but tell people that, about what you, how it impacted you. And that helps keep paying it forward for us. I think it's amazing, too, that this film was crowdsourced. In other words, it was not big Hollywood moguls who said, yeah, we'll put the money behind it. It was people, godly people from around the country who invested all kinds of amounts of money to say, we want this story told. You know, that's a pretty powerful yes. testimony. But we're running out of um, theaters. Mm. It's, you mean we're selling out across the United States right now, but the problem is, is that uh. the studios have most of the theaters. So it's like what you guys did when you helped us on the Passion of the Christ. You all went out and pushed forward, and so they had to relinquish these theaters because the demand of the people. So really, you know, the end of trafficking has to happen by the people. It's not going to happen yeah. by the politicians. Right. All of this pornography, all of this, this is like an eight-armed um, octopus that it, 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 you know, I was talking to Tim about pornography earlier. Are any of these uh, traffickers or these uh, pedophiles, does pornography affect them? Well, it just, it does. It, and, they're, and they're proliferating everywhere all over our, our country. We're talking about little bitty children, eight, nine years old, that are sold off as sex slaves and are put through the most horrific experiences with people who use them, as if they were nothing but an object. That's right. There are over six million children. Uh, this is according to Depart Department of Labor, State, others in slavery. They don't own their persons either. Labor, organ harvesting, which you don't. Even, I mean, we're we're fighting that as well. And then and then sex. And and you're right. Sometimes we make the mistake of thinking, oh, they're 16, 17. That's illegal. But we generally don't even have time. It's 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 children, average seven, eight, six years old, oh. and and this is the material that's being millions of transfers of child rape videos of that age, just in our country alone. Like Jim says, number one consumer, we are that. It's it's the economy of pedophilia, I call it. And so when you see eighty five thousand unaccompanied minors dropped off at the border and get and just are dropped into our country with no background check, they just go to the whatever whoever shows up for them. What do you, we know? What's happening? We are facilitating this right mm. now. We can no longer say that this is a problem far, far away. We are the problem, we are the demand, and we have to be the solution. I hope this movie wakes a lot of people up, and I think it will. Ken Ballard, Jim Caviezel, thank you very, very much for being here. Sound of Freedom opens nationwide on July the 4th. Want to know more about tickets and where to see the film? Go to Huckabee.tv. We have links to all of the things we've been talking about, as well as to the movie trailer to help you find showtimes in your area. And maybe you just decide, I, I can't go, but I'll buy 50 tickets and make it so that other people can go. Send a message to Hollywood and a message to Tim Ballard. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, I hope you will now. The button is just below this video, and there's a little bell next to it. If you click on those, YouTube will reluctantly start letting you know when we've got a new video uploaded.